Hey everybody, Rocks of Box and here with Day 6, Fate Were Forged. Spoilers, we got some crazy stuff today, including a whole bunch of Mythic. So we're just going to jump right in with Mythic number 1. It's tentatively called Sorcerer of the Great Hunt. He looks like a giant rhino to me, but he's 4 for a 4 to haste. Orc Shaman, whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. Any creature. Ferocity 2 and 2 hybrid, draw a card for each creature with power 4 or greater that you control. He's interesting. In and of itself, I think he's very powerful. Having a 4-2 Haster who swings, if he's not blocked, he becomes a 5-3. More importantly, if, even if he is blocked, your other dudes can get uh, <laughs> can get really powerful. If you're running some sort of any sort of token or aggressive strategy, seems very good for level quote unquote leveling up at turn four. The ferocity gives aggressive decks the card draw they need long term. Even if you pretend it's not blue hybrid, it's just red and green, which is kind of more of what he'll fit into i think uh, it's still really really good for any th any turn after turn four let's say turn four turn five you play stuff turn six he's still around you can get card draw I th and also by turning your three threes um or three twos or whatever variants into fours and then drawing from them that seems to be a card advantage it's kind of weird that it it costs what it does because it kind of questions your turn your fifth turn is it going to be maybe one or two cards for four or playing another dude usually you want to play another dude uh, like storm breath or sarkin or something so that it kind of makes him have a weird place to fit i don't know where he would exactly fit in uh, and i think he'll probably suffer the same problem that uh the flame speaker did from uh, i think it was yeah it was journey to nyx where it's a very powerful card but it just couldn't quite find a place to fit. I think that's going to be this guy's problem. Of course, Unlimited, he's absolutely amazing. Standard, that's going to be a tougher call. But I like, even in Commander, the consideration he buffs your whole army, period, and he has gives card draw. I think Rug decks in Commander uh, will probably think about using him as a utility creature. Then, pause for tension. Monastery Siege, two in a blue for an enchantment. As it enters the battlefield, choose cons or dragons. Cons, if you can give your draw step, you get an additional card, then discard a card. Dragons, spells your opponents, cast the target you or pony. You control, cost two more to cast. Okay, so it's pretty much effectively a Frost Titan ability with a card draw loot, looterish ability. I think it's strong, It's given especially how cheap it is, but it's kind of like it has to be a certain kind of deck that wants to use it. One that's more mid-rangey control feeling, because if you want this to land on turn three, you do not want to be drawing this turn six or seven. And I think that, or even if you do draw it later a game, it has that, that option where you can make spells your opponent's cast more expensive, but it's not going to be as effective, because most removal is not going to be very expensive. So it kind of has a weird, again, like a weird place where it would fit. I think that it's a decent card, I think Commander, it's pretty solid. Maybe not as good as some of the other sieges, but solid. And I think in Limited, it's okay. Constructed, I don't think it's going to quite be there. Maybe, maybe in Constructed. But I want to see this dragon. It looks great. Dagatar the Adamant is 4 for 0 0 Vigilance. Comes into play with 4 1 1 counters. 3 1 and 2 hybrid. Move a 1 1 counter from target creature to a second creature. Okay, so if he's 4 for a 4 4 Vigilance. Solid, great for Limited, done. In terms of his his ability is it's just what why is it three mana that's a big question for me i mean as a commander in edh he's not nearly as good as gave period <laughs> he's just not as good with interacting with counters and that's so expensive for what it is i don't think he's going to be that great as a playable commander as compared to things like gave but in terms of limited he's solid his ability is a bit too expensive. I think if it was one or two, it might be too pushed, but I think he'd be okay for... Um, he might be playable and constructed, maybe. But I think the main thing is he's going to be a limited card and a fun commander card, but not for a particularly uh, competitive commander. Blue Mythic Creature, foreign language, that looks like a weird hurricane tornado. It's... Torrent Elemental, 4 for a 3-5 Flyer. Whenever it attacks, tap all creatures defending player controls, and then 3 and 2 Hybrid, return it from exile to the battlefield tapped, activate this ability only on your turn, basically. So the interesting thing about this card, of course it's insane in Limited, because it's 5 for a creature that when it attacks, tap all creatures, which basically makes your, your army pseudo-unblockable. That's crazy. It's a Flyer. It's hard to deal with. It has a big body that is also hard to deal with. Great. Its last ability is kind of 
it's going to be okay if there's a good amount of exile effects, which we've seen already, some exile effects in limited. I think that'll be a good way to give constant value late game. I think it also has real use in commander, such as the Mimeoplasm, which kind of wants to tap down blockers and gives flying and can be taken back from exile. Also, if it's in a graveyard in commander that gets exiled out, some sort of reanimator, um, salt high variant, then this ability is very, very useful. I think it's a very powerful card. It's going to be insane in limited. It's going to be decent in commander. I like it as a mythic. Very cool. The best card of the day comes from whew, Star City Games. Huh. Monastery Mentor. Two and a white for another mythic human monk. We have Soulfire and this guy. Holy cow. Three for a 2-2. Two, two. Prowess. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, put a 1-1 one, one white monk with prowess onto the battlefield. Holy cow. Do you guys read that? You get 1-1s one, with prowess every time you cast a non-creature spell. Oh, and he has prowess. What? Turn 2, you play Soulfire. Turn 3, you play this. That just seems to be evil. <laughs> evil, evil. But then you just start casting tons of burn or whatever spells, and you get your dudes. They all have prowess. They all get more powerful. He seems like a very powerful token generator. Like, holy cow. And there's plenty of decks, even I think as far as modern, that could use this card to go bananas. I think it's very well designed. I think it's very, very playable. I think it's very awesome. And I think even in Commander, this card has, uh, has some potential if you have... Um, token variants, but really this is more for a standard, modern Jeskai tokens kind of deck and I think it's going to really push things. This and Gobble Rabble, Goblin Rabble Master are just, wow <laughs> crazy good card, really good card last up we have Shuyan the Silent Tempest 3 for 3 2 Prowess, whenever you cast a non-creature spell you can pay 2, if you do target creature gains double strike until end of turn alright, I like that it can be any creature, that's pretty good, in and of himself he's okay He's basically 3 4 4 3, and then for the 2, you get the double strike. Okay, he seems fine. I mean, I mean, 4 3 as in a prowess activation. I think he's pretty good. Of course, in limited, he's very solid. In terms of uh, standard, I don't think he's quite there. And anything else, I mean, he's okay in commander. I like that he can kind of uh, make your. He can be aggressive in himself, but then he can also make your other guys really powerful. Decent card. Solid. So let me know what you guys think about today's card, especially the crazy mythics that we're seeing here. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments section. If you enjoyed the video, tap the like button. If you're new to the channel, check in and subscribe. As always, Rocks the Box 90 signing out. I'll see you guys next time.